What is up guys and welcome back to Rudd's Go Crew Mode with Sheffield United, episode number 29. As you can tell by the title, we've got Man U first and then we've got Chelsea, so we've got two big, big games. Our last one's against Crystal Palace, which I'm hoping to go there and hopefully get a win. But first up, we do have Man U now. Last episode it was obviously deadline day. It wasn't the best of deadline days. The thing is, we only actually signed one player. And it was a free agent, a 20 years old Brazilian centre back. Um, we got him obviously from free agency, and um, you know, obviously he won't be going to the squad. He's just there for squad depth. Hopefully, we can grow him to be quite a good player, and maybe kind of sell him on if he comes a good player. Because at the moment, you know, Humphreys, Grant, and Maguire. They're my two really good centre backs, and they're playing quite well to be fair. So I'm happy to keep them at the moment, and probably throughout the season actually. But anyway, uh, on to Man U, and you know the first half was pretty rubbish. But then Mkhitaryan, arguably one of Man U's better players, for some reason give me the ball. Loftus Cheek had the ball. I found Antonio free right on the right, and you know with the form Antonio's been on this season so far, to be fair, I'd. Didn't actually think he was going to miss. And that's probably one of the people that I'd want to be in that position. And as you see, he does actually score. Now, I know he gets his first goal of the season. But, he's, you know, he's, he's still playing really, really well at the moment. And I'm glad it was him. But anyway, we was uh, moving on, trying to get a second. But, to be fair, like the first half, it wasn't the most exciting. Um, the game was quite dead, to be fair. I'm just surprised how badly Man U played. It was rubbish. There really was. It just didn't have the creator whatsoever. They had a lot of possession, a lot more than us. And, you know, they just didn't create all. And to be fair, it was a very good fixture to pick up three points against. Not only because they're, like, one of the best teams in the league, but as well, last episode, we didn't do that well. You know, we drew against Swansea, and then we lost against Tottenham and Everton. So, you know, we, we dropped a lot of points in that episode, last episode. So, it was kind of good to get the three points against a team like that. Because, obviously, you don't expect a newly promoted team to go to Man U, go to Old Trafford, and get any points whatsoever. But, luckily... Um, we actually got a win, so, you know, the, to be fair, I mean, it kind of went down to their squad selection as well, it wasn't the strongest, the same with Chelsea, to be fair, again, it wasn't the strongest, and actually, we went and scored quite early on in this one, Roberts played a good one too, where I think it was Dembele, who obviously uh, Chelsea's after in real life, and um, it was just good finish in the end, again, Begovic is in goal into the Courtois, so, um, you know, good finish from Roberts though, not taking that away from him, it was a really good goal, and uh, he made it 1-0 in the 8th minute, and to be fair, we weren't actually done there, as you see, um, it's a bit of a penalty, but to be fair, they won the ball. Now, Begovic had to kick the ball out, it hit Dembele, and um, I think it was Loftus Cheek tried to shoot, and it ended up going to Vieira, and then he shot, and it went in. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know how to really describe this goal, it was just really, really weird. Um, I like to thank Chelsea, obviously, but you know, I just Thank you, <laughs> I'm just speechless now, I just don't know what to say about it, it was just such a bad error from Begovic, I don't know what he was doing, obviously we were trying to get on the counter attack, but Dembele was in his way, and in the end he kind of fucked it up, now that pass there from Loftus Cheek against his old side, is a pass of the season so far, that basically made the goal, Matt Phillips in the end I thought had the easier finish, to be fair, Looking back on it, I don't think I actually meant to pass it to Matt Phillips. It's just Ruben Loftus Cheek's uh, vision to find that pass was and find Matt Phillips was a brilliant, brilliant piece of play. And they see Matt Phillips does get another goal for himself on the season and freed a up before half time. Pretty, pretty good. I mean, Vardy actually made it, nearly made it 3 1, but Ramsdale saved um, a good shot there. But yeah, 3 0 for half time at Stamford Bridge. What the hell was going on? We won 1 0 away at Old Trafford, and I might be winning 3 0 at Stamford Bridge. Well, the thing is, we weren't actually going to win 3 0 because Jamie Vardy, uh, pretty poor defended by me. I mean, he basically just pushed it past me. I went for the slide tackle, completely missed, and uh, in the end, Jamie Vardy finishes it with his weak foot. He's a t old teammate, Kante. Now teammate on this career mode, set him up and uh, he gets a goal for himself. To be fair, he's actually scored a few goals already this season. That's his fourth goal, actually. So, um, he's been getting most of their goals. I can't remember if Diego Costa was on the bench or not, or if they sold him. But, you know, he, he was making his kind of worth pretty uh, good, really. Because, he, like I said, he's got four goals already in the league. Anyway, uh, 71st minute now. And they'd actually get themselves another goal. And it was that man again, Jamie Vardy. He made it 3-2. And first half, you know, we was 
all over them. We was the better team. They had hardly any possession. Second half, um, Conte must have given them a kick up the backside because you know they were playing really good football. We was not in the game whatsoever, and um, you can see that by obviously them scoring two goals. But to be fair, luckily we would actually hold on and uh, get the three points. So we've gone away to Old Trafford, got three points. Now we've gone away to Stranf Stamford Bridge and got three points again. So this this episode so far is looking a lot better than last, and you know we're picking up points which. You could arguably say we don't deserve. I mean, we've picked up points against two teams that will probably be in the top maybe five this year. So, it's just really good. Anyway, we won Middlesbrough as well, 2-1 in the Premier League on the same match. And then we also beat Huddersfield in the same match in the EFL Cup. So, so far, so good. Um, nine points out of nine in the league. Also, a win in the EFL Cup onto the next round. Then we had one final game against Crystal Palace. Um, away at Sellers Park. Now, looking at their squad, um, they wasn't well. The, the thing is, they can't actually do a Man United Chelsea and play a weaker team because you know, no offense, Crystal Palace. Obviously, I know in real life they're not doing that well at the moment, but um, you know, obviously that kind of I won't say symmetries along to FIFA, but you know, they don't have the backup. Obviously, richer and bigger teams do, so that's why you know both of the teams was pretty equal. But the thing is, you know, that doesn't really matter because you know you saw us beat Man U and Chelsea when people wouldn't have given us a, a chance in hope. But actually, we went and took the lead. Um, it was a good bit of play on the right, really. And Charlie Taylor, the surprise. I mean, I mean, I know it was kind of a controversial goal, and it kind of just dribbled in off the deflection but he does get himself self on the score sheet and well done to him for getting up there because that's what I love seeing my full backs getting up the pitch I hate it when my players don't get up the pitch but anyway we actually got a red card in the uh, 21st minute Vieira now you saw the tackle I didn't show the replay or anything but you know it's just one of those mistakes where you're going for the tackle kind of accidentally and you, you catch the man now I've actually never seen it be a red card before it's normally a yellow so you know whatever that ref was um, maybe Mark Kattenberg I don't know John Moss he seems to send off a lot of players but yeah it kind of went a bit crap for us after that because they went and scored it was a good finish to be fair from their player um, don't know who he's never heard of him before but Amory you know, sounds Turkish. I, I, like I said, I don't know. It, anyway, he got a really good finish there. Um, basically, it was one on one, wasn't it? I mean, you expect him to score, but um, you know, we actually nearly scored another goal for ourselves before half time. But you know, that was it. Uh, second half, we went into at one one, and again, it wasn't the best of games. There weren't many chances. It was the same with all the games. To be fair, I mean, Towns, Townsend, how he didn't score there, I really don't know. Hit the post, but luckily. I see Charles Taylor again causing havoc down the wing. Now, I'd not normally cross, but for some reason there was loads of players around me, so I decided to do it. I see Antonio at the back post again, getting himself on the score sheet, getting himself another goal, and um, he's playing out of his skin, guys. He really is. He's playing really, really good football at the moment. So happy I bought him. As you see, third goal of the season now. And after that, to be fair, nothing else really, you know, much happened. I mean, Crystal Palace, as you see, do have a chance here. They did make Ramsdale pull a save, but, you know, that was it. So a really, really good episode all around. Completely different to last episode. Look, cause like I said, in the league, we only actually picked up four points, and now today we've picked up, you know, five wins out of five. So, you know, this episode has been a lot different and uh, loads better. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, please hit like button, subscribe if you are new, and guys, I'll be seeing you later. Peace.